The two black slots in the lower left are the power slots. The one on the farther left is the female power slot which is used to supply the monitor with power. The other one on the other hand is the male power slot that is used to provide power to the system's units from a wall socket. The main difference between the two power slots is that the male as you can see has pins while the female one is more bare. This is a closer look of the sockets at the back of the CPU. The one that I'm pointing to is the male power slot. Moving on, the next thing that we'll look at is the PS2, not the PlayStation but the Personal System 2, which are both female slots. There are two types, the green slot and the purple slot, which should be connected to the mouse and keyboard respectively. Next is the Ethernet port, which is also female. This is the port that is used to connect computers in order to link to the Internet. These are the USB or the Universal Serial Bus Connectors. Its main function is to connect peripherals to a PC. It is very useful because when plugged in, it automatically configures everything for you. It is where you plug in your thumb drives or sometimes what we call USBs. Here is the serial port, a port used to transfer data in two directions in a non-simultaneous manner. External modems are usually connected here. Audio ports are composed of the ports for the microphone and two speakers, or a headphone if you want to. You can usually see little drawings beside it that will determine what kind of port it is. Wondering what the yellow part is for? That's the game part. That's where you plug in your game devices like joysticks. However, not all CPUs have this port. Sa loob yung motherboard mo, siguro. So, kaya... Uh, Unknown uh, number? Hello? This is the kidnap. Have you prepared the money yet? Anong hindi mo alam? Well, I know. Here's how. Motherboard. Di ko. Ito yata. Ah, sabi niya ito raw, oh, yung may green green na may silver lines. This is the power supply. All the power that the computer uses comes from here. Many computer parts are connected to the power supply through these cables called power cables. These are the first things that we should take off from the motherboard. Next to be removed are the cables connected to the LED slots. These are what powers the blinking lights that we see at the front of the CPU. We can also call this LED status indicators. Next are the flat cables. These are the ones connecting the hard drive, optical drive, and floppy disk drive to the motherboard. This first flat cable is connected to the hard drive and the floppy disk drive. This is the connector to the hard disk drive. The connector near the twist is what we connect to the floppy disk drive. The other end is for the motherboard. This other flat cable is the one connecting the CD drive to the motherboard. This particular flat cable is connected to the primary and secondary storages. After all the cables have been removed, the next thing that we should do is take out the drives. This first thing that we should remove is the hard disk drive. 
This was where the flat cable was connected. Next, we have to take out the disk drive. It is okay to leave the floppy disk drive where it is because it will not hinder us from getting the motherboard later. This cooling fan prevents the microprocessor from overheating. There are hooks on each side, so be careful! To get the microprocessor, move the lever upwards and wait for a click to get it easily. Before we get the video card, we must first remove the screws that are holding it in. Now we can easily get the video card which also houses the VGA port. This port connects the monitor to display data in any format required. This is a DIMM RAM, chip configuration of 64-bit data path. After the motherboard is unscrewed, it can be easily removed. The white slots are called PCI slots. It was introduced for faster access to the main board resources. The brown slot beside it is the accelerated graphics port slot. It allows graphic cards to access the system memory directly, which allows faster processing of games and other applications. Those blue and black slots are called IDE controllers. This is where the hard drives, floppy drives, and optical drives are connected. The flat cables from before are called IDE ribbons. That white square holds the microprocessor. That's why it's called the microprocessor socket. And then below, there are black slots. Those are the RAM slots. That long white slot is the power slot where the power connector is connected. The mates easily did it because it is much easier to assemble it than disassemble it.